Julius Hirona of JNG Backyard Lettos. I'm here at South Bend Farm, Lipa City, Batangas. So today's vlog, we're gonna discuss important things about hydroponics. Why hydroponics is safe? So Mr. Raymond Sylvester will explain to you five reasons why hydroponics is safe. Mm. So Raymond, why hydroponics is safe? Okay, so thanks Julius. Uh, there are five uh, reasons for this, no? Mm -hmm. So I'll give you first the first the five, then I'll explain each one to you, no? So the five are first it's a controlled environment, then we have clean water, uh, there's no pesticide and fungicides. And then uh, we use hydroponics nutrients or fertilizers and there are no toxic elements. Now, to start with the first one, the controlled environment, uh, it's because we're, we are uh, inside the greenhouse, like yes. the one behind us right now. No? Uh, it's uh, safe from pollution and at the same time, it is uh, safe from any hazardous elements. So that's uh, the first one. Uh, with regards to clean water, you know, just like uh, human beings, plants need uh, uh, clean water. So, for us to produce uh, hydroponic uh, grown. Let grown or plant varieties uh, uh, in a very clean environment, we need to have a clean water. No? Clean water. And from clean water, you will extract, you uh, know, clean and crisp plant varieties no when they, and if you grow them you know it's uh, very safe and very good for all those who are uh, health conscious and are uh, digesting uh, plant based uh, food yes at the same time with clean water no uh, the plants will grow well and and any clean environment and anything that's clean you know that uh, it will produce uh, an excellent uh, quality of produce High value crops. Yes. So that's number two. The third one is that uh, there are no pesticides and fungicides. No? Well, what is this all about? So, because uh, in a greenhouse and in uh, hydroponics, uh, it's at an elevated area away from the ground. It's about uh, how many meters? Uh, it's about 0.90 or one meter. one meter away from the ground. Okay. At the same time, uh, there's no contact from uh, any pathogens and toxic elements that can be derived if uh, you are planting on soil. So th that's a that's other uh, difference between hydroponics and uh, soil-based planting. Because those elements can be eaten by the plants because it is in organic form also, but it is very toxic because it will if you eat that one that crop and then that will toxic will transfer to you. Uh, as a okay. consumer okay right so number four yeah number four is uh we use uh, hydroponics uh, nutrients or hydroponics fertilizer uh, this is basically the food and the nutrients of the plants uh, with the right volume of the basic elements uh, the npk npk the water they grow faster and better you know? and uh, that's the reason why we need nutrients uh, we were discussing this a while ago why how lettuce varieties uh, using hydroponics is uh, no, uh, using all of, they said there's a chemical uh, because uh, a lot of people are taught that organic is equal to no pesticide no fungicide yes that organic farming is uh, safe or no that that is uh, that's the one they learned um, mm. in the previous years mm. so we explained that also hydroponics is uh, 10 times easier and 10 times very safe for mm. all human beings. Yes, and if it's, uh, you know, the plants won't grow, eh? If uh, the, the elements or the mix or the chemical elements are not right, correct? Yes, especially if the water is contaminated with bad chemicals and then absolutely two days or three days, the leaves will become dry or yellow or any chemical reaction from those uh, uh, those elements correct so basically the our discussion was uh, everything has a chemical reaction whether it's soil based or hydroponically grown so nutrients uh, being used by hydroponics uh, methodologies basically has the right chemical reaction in order for the plants to grow at a certain day and time 
uh, faster and better. Is that yes, right, Jules? Yes, faster and better because the hydroponic solution is in organic form. Therefore, it is available right after you put the hydroponic solution immediately the plant will eat that because in hydro uh, in organic in organic farming in conventional farming you put uh, chicken manure cow manure uh, vermicas uh, with the help of the good bacteria or uh, elements there uh, inside the soil uh, it process and it will become inorganic matter in organic elements and then that's the time the plant will eat that okay mm -hmm. so it's a long process compared to a shortcut one okay, okay. shortcut process okay. that is the beauty of hydroponics okay so it is very safe number five is uh, there are no toxic elements yes. again uh, reiterating on what we were previously discussing uh, toxic elements make it you know toxic environments toxic elements you will not grow anything so there are no toxic elements uh, using hydroponics methodologies is that correct yes Jules? yeah at the same time we are away from air pollution water pollution and soil pollution mm. so okay. without further ado thanks for watching guys and let's plant hydroponically grown fresh vegetables sir you can invite them to visit South Bend Farm. Okay. Uh, thanks, Julius, uh, for this opportunity. Uh, I'd like to invite all of uh, our friends out there uh, to join us and come visit uh, South Bend Farm. We are located here in Lipa City, Batanga. So uh, I hope all of those people in Metro Manila who are looking for, you know, uh, ple a pleasant and pleasurable time uh, in a farm, which is which has a very cool environment. I hope you can come and join and visit us. Here at South Bend Farm, Lipa City, Batangas. And don't forget to follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and do you have Twitter or? No, sorry, <laughs> just Facebook and Instagram. Okay, yes. and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. So next episode will be another learning episode of hydroponics. Hopefully, uh, we can speak English because our friends out there needs to have or need to understand English. Okay. Yes. So bye guys. Bye. Thanks Kagulay. <laughs> Thanks for watching.